to MTV. Today is Wednesday, the 25th of November. This is very nine. Broadcasting live from Motor. Today's activities are library, library in the library, cricket with Mr. Simpson, tea ball with Mrs. Kennelly, senior Polynesian with Miss Otto, super kids in the art suite. Happy birthday to Frida in room 10 and Tony in room 11. Happy birthday! And we now cross over to the news desk. Kia ora, good morning and welcome to NTV News. I'm Stella and I'm Phoebe. In local news, a, a Mangari man got a terrible fright when a pod of six orcas no, noticed him when he was spear fishing in Murray Bay on the North Shore. The terrified fisherman who th at first thought he was being stalked by a huge shark was spotted frantically swimming away by a by a boat crew and was pulled to safety. There is no recorded evidence of orcas ever attacking humans. In overseas news, firefighters battled bushfires in four states yesterday as Eastern Australia's heat wave pushed temperatures to record highs at the beginning of what might become a disastrous summer. Fire danger was rated as very high to extreme across most of the New South Wales. Victoria and South America, Australia was with temperatures hitting 40 degrees in many centuries. Thousands of firefighters have already battled raging bushfires across th across the four states. Today's weather. Today will be sunny and warm in the afternoon. Remember to wear your hats outside. And now it's back to the studio. Yesterday's question was, where in the world is Santa Claus said to live? And the answer is, the North Pole. Well done, Terence. 14, 13, 16, 6, 5 and 2. And today's question, who was believed to fly the first person to fly in 1902? Find out the answer and tell Julia in room 9. A reminder to bring back your Mephiphone sponsor money by Friday. And that is all for today, Wednesday, 25th November. This is Room 9 wishing you a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day!